Hi folks, it's another first time on the channel. We're going for Kujira, The Art of Dying. So I got this requested probably a couple of months ago. Um, I was in amongst a whole pile of different requests that are on a spreadsheet somewhere on the computer. Um, so a bit slow getting to this. I want to make a quick disclaimer. I've actually heard Gojira before. About four or five years ago, maybe, um, a friend of mine played me some stuff off Magma. I think I heard maybe two, three tracks, something like that, one night. I mean, it sounded amazing, but for some unknown reason, I never got around to investigating more. So because quite a few of you have asked for Gojira along the way, we got to do it. So without further ado, go. What a build! That's nearly two minutes. That's epic. Right, so right at the beginning, definitely like real tribal vibes going on. Um, I know we've got kind of like a, looks like we've got something in the Pacific uh, with the screenshot. I mean, that's fitting because you've gotten like jungle vibes, uh, very tribal. It sounds like there's a didgeridoo or something way in there. And they're playing about with things in the mix that are really, really far away. Like, I mean, that sounded to me like there were pan pipes or some little flute, you know, uh, ocarinas, those kind of sort of ethnic instruments. They were so low down in the mix that I was nearly convinced I was hearing them from out my window somewhere. Because, you know, that's, you know, because when you're close to living in Belfast, Northern Ireland, you know, that's what normally happens. There's people in trees playing flutes. Anyway, it's at such a low level that it was kind of like, am I imagining that or is it actually there? Love the ambient textures just throughout the whole opening there, you know, really creating a sense of Anticipation mixed with dread. Love that. Face melting when it comes in. Uh, the actual sort of groove, the sort of da 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 kind of reminds me of uh, Meshuggah a lot. I don't think the production's that similar to Meshuggah, but just the sort of ostinato type effect, you know, of the same sort of rhythm being played over and over. But because of the complexity of that rhythm, uh, you don't really catch it on your first listen and being like, oh, I've heard that two or three times and it's there. It still kind of keeps you guessing and seeing drumming, loving the snare displacements on that. And as it was ramping up there, just before we got into like the crash cymbal groove, um, thought I heard like a detected like a flanger type effect on the guitar. You were getting that sort of, you know, you'll find that's a perfect flanger impersonation. the way the guitar riff is sort of playing amongst the octaves there. You can hear the octave note intermittently being played there. Drumming is insane. Just the risk I have Driven by clockwork I try to keep 
playing with a semitone there. Typical sort of metal trope. Ah, na, na, na. Can't go wrong with those dissonances. Minor seconds always sound great. Loving the trem picked guitar there. You know, you're getting that sort of chainsaw kind of vibe and the really slow drumming grooves. Interesting fills in there as well. The vocals are really unusual. Um, they're kind of passing me by a little bit on this first listen due to the fact that I'm getting drawn to the guitar and the drums. So I'll maybe go back a little bit and focus a little bit more on the, the vocals. Yeah, I think it's because the music is so heavy that you, you would generally expect one of maybe three typical vocals. You got the black metal, you got the death metal vocal, and then maybe clean vocals. This is somewhere like a fourth one, <laughs> where it's just like an aggressive kind of vocal, but it's not traditional sounding. Ah, it's really refreshing. Drumming's amazing, man. When was the last time you heard people doing fills on hi-hats? It's such an interesting groove. It's kind of where you would expect the fills, and he's got some tom fills in there. He's playing those sort of, they sound like really, really fast triplets. Kind of in place of a fill, but it's actually part of the groove. The drumming sounds really idiosyncratic. Brilliant. Drummer is making me happy. Love the sort of multi layered vocals. Is the vocalist using some sort of overdrive or drive effect on his uh, vocals? Or is that a pure vocal? Um, the reason I ask is it actually reminded me a little bit of Steve Austin from Today is a Day. You know, um, it doesn't really sound like him, but the, the sort of unusual vocal within that sort of metal context, Today is a Day, like, come on. You know, one of the most unique... Um, it's not even fair, really, just to call them metal, but because um, there's so much more than just metal, but they're you know they fall within that realm, so you know what I mean. Um, but it's getting reminiscent vibes of today is the day in the sense that the band sounds like they're off doing their own thing than from everybody else.
slight Macedon vibes in there, I think, with the vocals. That. I love the way they intersperse these sort of quiet ambient sections with just full on extreme. I mean, how many kick drums did we hear in there with all those triplets? It must have been about a thousand. <laughs> that was intense. I thought I detected a cello as well in one of those previous sort of um, ambient sort of moments, but the sounds are also heavily treated and made to sound kind of unnatural in those sections. That it's, it's difficult to tell, but uh, yeah. It's really claustrophobic, all of this. Really claustrophobic. Perfect. I have no idea what's coming next. Oh man. Uh, every member, do you know who they remind me of? And this is a stretch because they don't sound like them. You know, it's so later on compared to what they were. I'm getting Black Sabbath vibes. Amazing drumming. The bass is doing their own thing and riffs to kill for. Okay, take the, maybe not so much with the vocals, but uh, definitely definitely getting early Black Sabbath vibes, at least in the, the, it's exciting me in the way that, you know, when I was a kid and I first heard Black Sabbath, I was like, this band. <laughs> Do you hear how high in the mix the guitars are? I mean, the guitars are really driving this, as well as the drums, of course. But uh, the bass is sort of wandering about there in the background, quite low in the mix. That's what reminded me a wee bit of Geezer Butler. Not just doubling up on the riff, kind of doing his own thing in there. You know, something I, I was talking about being excited. I think it's the energy that's been captured with the band um, because that's a slow groove, right? So it just shows you that even with a slow groove, you can still have intense energy um, because there's a real under undercurrent of like tension throughout all of this. It's just really driving, even though it's slow, you know, because that could really just fall on its ass, you know, really like dragging. You know, that drummer is, the drummer is just pushing, you know, it's like a sort of, Think of it like a big steamroller, you know, it's just relentless coming towards you. Great drum sound. Bass driving now. Little trill. Just realizing as that riff was sort of being played on out, how intricate the bass drum is in relation to what the guitar notes were playing, you know, really cool. All 
about atmosphere. That's it. So, more. Those ethereal guitars coming in over the top kind of remind me of the guitar work on Blackwater Park by Opeth. The textures. actually going to play out for the last minute or so. This is a slow fade. Or is it going to be replaced by something else? Beautiful. Love me some reverse delay guitar. Just shows you how that effect can be used so creatively because there's actually like a melody coming out there, you know. So um, nowadays, obviously, there are plugins and so on. You can just reverse a delay like that. It's easy in your DAW just to go whoop and reverses it. Um, but I started doing it the old fashioned way when I was recording my stuff um, and I'm not sure how they've done it here but there's something romantic I guess about doing it the old way playing it forward remember on the tapes and they'd have to reverse the tape um, but yeah it's great because it makes me think of the little melody that's come up there was it you know it's being played in entirely the opposite order for it to sound as it does you can even hear the pick attack on the strings being um, like there's a delay on that because it's not the first thing you hear, you hear it at the end. Beautiful. Not sure how many guitars are used here. It could be two or three. It sounds like there's some harmonies going on at times. Love that drone. Mm. Ah man, there's it gone. Another class one. So what's next from Gojira? Comment below and let me know. Gonna have to do more. Thank you to all you guys that have been donating through the Buy Me A Coffee link and also been buying my music, you know, purchasing from Bandcamp. You know what? That's amazing. Thank you very much. That is what supports this channel because all of these reactions are all copyright so I don't earn anything from this you know and, and yeah you're getting adverts and all that but that's all being collected by the managers and all the rest of that so if you do enjoy what I'm doing um, and you want to help support me Bandcamp's your best bet go to Bandcamp because you can buy that for the same price of the, of the coffee and you're getting all my music you know so thank you very much to everybody that is helping support the channel that way it means a lot